Today we're going to analyze in depth the macro rotation of the world number seven Zlom, so you can improve your gameplay. Let's go. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you. Just the thrill of it. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it. Hey yo guys, how's everyone doing? This is our guy Assassin Day. Welcome back to the fam again. Today we're looking at a world number seven Zlom macro rotation. We're going to analyze this in depth and Find out one or two tips that you need to learn in your game so improve your Zlom gameplays and potentially win more games, have more fun, you know, really get those power spikes, become the one-shot god, maybe yourself. Now before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells because I know 50% of the viewers actually haven't joined the coolest group of the baddest family in the world of Mobile Legend Bam Bam. What you're waiting for, it's time to hit the subscribe to join the fam. Without further ado, let's take a look of, you know, what's World Number 7 Zalone does differently from the rest of us. And by the way, the question of the day is, what the hell is a two hog? You know, if you understand what this means, make sure to leave a comment down below. I, I don't understand what that means. Maybe it's Tagalog. Right off the bat, you can see he just stays in their tower, not really doing much, you know, not really rotating because you get out damaged, out scaled by, um, Uranus, I'll style to really. Staying alive is the number one strategy for Zlong, I suppose. And I, I actually watched many games from the same player. His core strategy early games always just been playing passive and a split push. You will see that he doesn't join team fights unless you find out like there's a kill, like absolute kill. If he doesn't find the opportunity, he just stays late and farm. Look, he doesn't even rotate. Now, knowing that the uh, turtle might be contested, two minutes, he come over here, oh, and then me doing turtle. Uh, what can I do about it? Nothing. So he decided to leave. I like this mechanic from him. Flip plus a flicker. Put targets uh, deeper into the tower. Now the only thing about that is uh, you're doing it on a lane, so <laughs> it's not gonna, not gonna do much. If that happened to be a target to like Chang'e, for example, that's a sure kill, right? So nice flip over here, doing some damage to the Uranus, but definitely not gonna be enough. You can see that he's not actively fighting. Um, He's just trying to stay in the tower the whole time. Over here where he rotated top side, I don't truly understand. I think it's because they're calling because the Chang'e was trying to invade and stuff. Uh, that's mechanic mistake. You can tell it's mechanic mistakes because he will try to flip the, the Chang'e, but when Chang'e stabbed into the bush, he was still smashing that skill. Mechanical mistake happens, especially like I said, an MMORPG, you just smashing buttons very, very quickly, hoping to kill the boss. It happens, but we're mainly looking at a macro rotation, right? So, so far, gets a kill or not, you can tell from the playstyle he has, is really passive. Early game, it's his farm. Now, obviously, he's also playing a fireman setting, so it's easier for his team to not feed, which gives Zlone the, the time, the opportunity to farm. Again, his team is fighting top, he doesn't care, right? Farm bottom. But he shoves the lane this time, you know, which is different from what he did before. I think the reason why is because he want to hit the tower. This is going to be the tier 1 tower on the bottom side. Um, doing quite a bit of damage here, activating the ultimate and just go to town. And they're gonna get a first tower on the map, which is really nice. Give himself a lot of gold. Uh, sitting at 2700 gold right now. But still, just farming. He has a blade I have to see his first item. The rotation is mainly limited to the bottom side of the map. You know, just the lane and the small camp. The lane and the small camp. Lane and crab. And maybe occasionally rotate to mid, do nothing. And occasionally rotate to the top, kind of mess up the mechanic. You can, you can see right now, he saw the minion wave about to crash on bottom side uh, from his, you know, from his minion wave perspective and he instantly come back to lane and start clearing lane again. He won't do anything until he hits two to three items. After I watch many, many games from this guy, he does the same thing. So I think he's gonna do a round of damage to this Uranus? No. <laughs> he's not even engaged, he's not even approaching this person. He saw Uranus, like, hey, have a nice day, and he just walks away. Oh, I like that. Double dash, activating all, find out he can't do much, instantly jump away. Uh, make sure he sl slay that minion before he does that, and then jump away. And once again, Zlone coming back to bottom lane farm. I mean, this play type of playstyle is kind of boring, but again, this is not his time to shine yet. You gotta be patiently wait, you know? Because you have to understand, like, look, my champion is weak. Um, what is my core strategy, win condition, you know, when I finish those few items? So next item, I think he's going for Wind Talker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going for Wind Talker. That's the next item. Right here. Well, once again, just leave that Uranus alone. If he doesn't approach Uranus, Uranus is like not gonna approach him, right? The golden rule uh, 
it, I mean, there's a golden, not necessarily rule, like a law of nature. Uh, the only reason you die in lane is when you try to kill somebody. But if you're not trying to kill anyone, you're not gonna die, right? If you play as docile, as uh, passive as Zilone does, you're gonna be staying alive for a long, long time. It's zero, zero, zero right now. He hasn't contributed anything in the game except for taking down the first tower, which is still really nice. A lot of team gold, the second turtle. Um, but their team is not here, so they're giving the turtle for free. Not for free, they're giving the turtle and trading for a tower and kills on the other side of the map. Uh, which I think is decent, it's a decent trade, I like it. When you're trading objective for objective, it makes sense, right? When you're trading one kill for a lord and stuff, that doesn't make any sense. Here, here it comes! You know, do a little bit of damage, but realize that Kai is here and instantly run away. You still have the O active. Uh, he's not looking to fight at all, right? Even though he has two out and finish, he has the wind talker, he has blade half disease. Um, and he has level 2 boots, but he doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to him. Because his job is just to farm. And now he switched lane with Grinover. He's going back to- he's going to top now, have Grinover come to bottom. Um, I think it's because the Lord is bottom, so they're switching positions. But if you look at this guy's- so far what he contributed towards the team, not much. Ooh, the damage comes online, and they're looking for maybe a double kill? Nope. Oh, Franco didn't land that hook. If Franco landed that hook, it might be a little bit different. Once again, go to farm, but he did see Chang'e though. Maybe he act gonna activate all right here. Yep, flip, all attack. Not gonna chase. Just, he doesn't pursue anything. It's like his mission in life is split push. Farm. It's been 10 minutes. We just watched this guy farm for 10 minutes. And finally, he decided to do something. And that's only because it seems like there were free kills over there, right? And they did get a kill on Uranus. All right, here it comes. Maybe look for the target Ling. Then he got it. So right here, he's not gonna commit to the kill. Um, his teammate is, which is kind of interesting. He's just circling around looking for the fleeing target. Uh, can't quite get a kill. And look, he didn't chase at all. Right? Doesn't matter how low the target gets. And then the same thing, this guy plays really passive. This entire 11 minutes so far. Maybe that's something you can learn. Maybe that's the only way to play it alone, to be honest. Because you're so weak early game. Right now he has item. And he's still playing passive because he understands dying is not what you want. Your number one rule when you play solo queue, they're not playing solo queue, but number one rule when you play this type of scaling champ is not to die. If you don't die, there's always hope for you to slowly scale. But if you die, the the uh, growth becomes zero. So you don't grow at all, you just watch your enemy grow. Here we go. He saw the Benedetta, the first reaction is, let me run away, right? But he's not looking to, like if, I, if it was me, I would have gone at Benedetta, like I'll teach her a lesson, right? Like I'll, I'll have her say my last name. But for the slow, because this nerf my two hog, he's just gonna be sitting in the bush and wait. Okay, it seems clashing mid. This time because there's no minion waves, um, he decided to rotate towards mid and see if, if he can help anything. And it turned out that uh, no, activating ult and go to lane, you know? This is what he cares about, and this is what he's gonna get. Minion wave, minion wave, minion wave, you know. Baby Josh has useless hero. I, I don't think any hero is useless, it just depends on how you play it. Oh, nice all from Franco there, lock him down, but didn't do any damage. Uh, nice skill too from the Benedetta to dodge everything. Nice flip. That was, that was just to save his ally. So, uh, all I can say is they got each other's back. Uh, but so far, it's, it don't have to contribute much except for getting one kill and then pushing one tower. Just farm around the map, farm around the map, farm around the map. So can you get that? Yep, there you go, one, one kill. Okay, let's continue. You can see that when the team is doing Lord, this little actually doesn't go help right away. He decided to go apply pressure on the other side of the map. Like I said, so far this game, the entire contribution that Zilong had for his team was just pushing. Yeah, you can see that their teammates getting kills on the bottom side. He didn't help. He hide in the bush and wait for another key member, like Ling, for example, or Benedetta who show up. But maybe that he has a little bit of lag right here, because when he's getting hit, he's just getting hit for free. Decided to activate all and start running away. Again, very, very passive player. And now, team fight started. See that Gwyneth is getting pinned to the wall. He got the division vision Pokemon. Oh, now, now he spotted that Chang'e right here. Gonna go in. Look at the damage he does right now. This is why I was a little bit surprised, where he decided not to help for the longest time. He's really, really farmed. Nice escape, using that skill too on the minion wave, and finally ultimate come off cooldown and just start running away. Yep. This is the whole time that he's playing Zilong right here. It's 3-0-0 now. 
All the three kills, except for the last one, I think is really decent, hiding in the bush. Um, and waiting for the right tower to show up. I guess that's something that you really have to do a lot uh, when you're playing champions like that. Because uh, you're going to kill backline, you're not going to target Akai. You're not going to target Uranus. Maybe you can. Maybe he, I think you can right now because it's so far ahead. Um, getting so much farm, but still. Oh, right here. Benedetta. We see Akai shows up. Instead of going in there, decided to come mid, clear wave. And when you see two people, start running away. The whole, the whole mantra, um, if anything you want to take away from this game, is just, I'm not going to do anything in this game. You know, I'm just going to stay alive. This is why also now, like I don't play this type of assassin, I just play you drone, right? it's more fun. Activate ultimate, pop the flicker, make sure you're getting a safe range. Still get killed. Uh, Chang'e's ultimate is a little bit too strong. And so activate ultimate, he saw the lane right here, one shot it, but he does have the... Oh, nice hook! That's why you're going to nerf that. Too strong. Um, Fanny gonna get that kill very quickly, but look, he's straight up looking for Chang'e, right? He doesn't really care about the Uranus looking to kill the teammates, doesn't care. He just want to kill the Chang'e. We, we got some trash doctors watching the stream, keep on bashing. Well, if you think Zalone is useless, you've been watching the stream for like, what? For however long I've been watching this game, right? <laughs> this guy just keep on bashing saying Zalone is a useless hero. I mean, it's the most popular one, so you might as well observe, like, what does a pro do? What does the top player do? People who play thousands of games of Zalone, and maybe they find a pattern of, you know, of victory, right? Like a pattern, what are the elements that uh, you have to check? What are the boxes you have to check in order to have a better chance of winning? Once again, he didn't contest anything, he didn't activate ult, he flips somebody. He didn't actually look to engage, he just flips and, like, he just farm. Okay, right here. When a team fight, when when he knows there's some threat, instantly start running away. He still have the ultimate active. He has now Demon Hunter Sword. You know, like <laughs> it's four big items right now: Berserker's Fury, Wind Talker, Demon Hunter Sword, Blade of Half Disease. You can't get more items. I mean, I, I, right now I think you need to start killing people. Uh, he is. He's looking for Chang'e all the time, um, and he has one target in mind. That one target, Chang'e. He never changes. Uh, this game, like you've noticed, he hasn't engaged on anyone this whole game but Chang'e. He's looking at Chang'e the, all the time. Uh, I guess it's a good thing. If you are really good at flanking people, but this case he's just like, ton of vigiling. He can kill Ling, just now when Ling was like jumping on the wall. If he had like, if he didn't have like a ton of vision on, I'm just gonna kill Chang'e. He could have instantly used flick, uh, the flick and then get Ling off the wall. Maybe that's a kill. Like, some skins are decent. Oh, look at that one shot, though. Finally, like I said, it shouldn't be tunnel visioning. At this point, he's so far ahead, he can one shot anything. Um, I think he might be going for Immortality here. Might not. Because it's core component. Okay, going for the wave again. And. Benedetta. Alright. Tango's already dead. I guess that's the reason. And instantly popped the ult. Still looking for the Benedetta. That for a little bit, but Uranus is kind of zoning him away and then decided not finally re engage. Waiting for the team. Okay, now this guy did almost killed him though. He's very, very squishy still. Okay, nice hook, but uh, he didn't flip the right person. And now Akai's gonna push him away. He still have the ultimate active. Let's say, oh, let's go too nice. Yup, you can see the damage he does. The one shot assassin at, at his finest, you know, because he has so f he successfully. Uh, by the way, he got Malefic War, the armor pin item. I think it was going for. Flicker flip onto the minion. Again, mechanical mistake. He made many, many mechanical mistakes this game, but the over the reason why he's able to still get like 5, 2, and 3, like this kind of KDA, I think it's just because he stick to the role, stick to where I need to farm, and then let's not do anything aggressive. Let's make sure I get his core items. Um, I got my Blade of Hatha Seas, I got my Berserker Fury and Wind Talker, and then I got my uh, Demon Hunter Sword. He did that really, really well, right? Would you say he get carried? Yeah, but uh, those are qualities that you need to know when you play uh, Zlong, when you're rotating. So uh, let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this Zlong. Um, like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells. With that, I'm signing off. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit with you. Just the thrill of it.